Hey everybody, Anthony Alfredo here, and I'm back in the SimSeats Driving Simulator, and today I really want to test the true capabilities of D-Box technology. As you can see, I have their iRacing motion code settings up, and we've got the global parameters set to 100. That's what we've been running, and this is all default right here, and these are the things I want to mess with. I'm curious how crazy this is going to get, if it's going to be more realistic, less realistic, maybe there's... Uh, a little bit of fun we can have with just some absolutely crazy experiences, especially on a track like this. I think there's no better place to test this out than an off-road dirt track, in this case, Wild West Motorsports Park, with a Lucas Oil off-road racing Pro 4 truck. So, like I said, this is completely experimental, but I'm genuinely curious what happens when you turn all these settings all the way up. I want to have this bad boy cranking. I want to get tossed out of the seat. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe not. Not maybe not that. That's a little too far. But we'll uh, we'll we've already tested this before at baseline settings, and you've seen that video. And to test the true capabilities, we're just gonna turn these up, I guess. Maybe we'll go halfway for now with everything. So I guess we can go if this is at 40 currently. And it goes up to 60. We'll just go 50. If this goes to 20, we'll go 15. And we'll go one by one here. So I guess we'll just keep... This is going to be nuts. I already know it. Yeah, this is 62. So we'll go 50. This is definitely branching off the last video, like I said. Because we know the capabilities now of this system. So I'm really curious just to just to experience it in full effect. We're going to go halfway to start and just see if it's a big difference or not. We'll go 50 on this. This stuff was all at zero. I don't even know what that is. So that's something we can also mess with. Uh, we'll put everything at zero and then we'll mess with those settings individually. I, I'm going to leave vibrations off for this test because I've actually had them off. That is the only adjustment I've made so far. Um, but this is going to be cool. I, I'm curious what these things feel like turned up at some of the road courses and say a stock car or road car and even on the ovals. Um, I think they they nailed it right, you, you know, hit the nail right on the head with their baseline motion code settings for the ovals and, and even some of the road courses from my experience. But we'll, we'll go ahead and save these and, and try it out here. But uh, it's it's really great unique and i think it's super cool that you can adjust all of those haptics oh my gosh this thing's moving a lot already this is gonna be insane do you see this look oh my gosh this is gonna be crazy <laughs> the, the fact that these are one and a half inch actuators like you wouldn't believe it all right i'm creeping off pit road here i'm, I'm a little nervous we'll stand on it we'll open it up oh yeah honestly this this might be more realistic in this type of vehicle i have a whole new respect for this type of discipline of racing with when you have the haptic system on oh i'm trying to talk and make a quality video but this is just throwing me for a loop i wasn't expecting this Oh! oh. <laughs> this is insane! This is sick. I mean, holy cannoli. Now, I don't have an e brake on this rig, but we're making do. We, should, we should, technically shouldn't need it if I drive this thing right, but I, have no, I don't know anything about this discipline of racing. Here's a. This off-road stuff. Love to do it though, because this is awesome. I am moving so much right now. Can you see this? I don't think the webcam's doing it justice, to be honest. Watch this landing right here. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is wicked cool, man. Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh! Okay, so I don't think it, the travel's not any different. It's just, everything's just more aggressive. So, 
I guess that means we should go up even more. Right? Why not? When in doubt, max it out. <laughs> this is awesome. I, I kind of want to leave this at zero. And mess... Those are the things I want to mess with. Actually, whatever. Well, maybe maybe we'll go 50. We'll just leave it at 50. That's what we'll do. All the way, all the way, all the way. No, let's let we're gonna put everything all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Okay, here we go. I'm scared. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's put vibrations on. Let's put. Oh, oh. Nope, we don't want to make a wheel adjustment. We do not want to do that. Where is my? Here we go. Skid vibration, engine vibration. Ready? Look at me! Uh... <laughs> My voice is vibrating because... Hold on. I feel like... Okay, this might be a little excessive. I'm going to stand on it right... Uh... <laughs> oh my God. All right, I don't think we should do this. This doesn't feel right. I don't know. I talked to the guys at D-Box. They said I'm not going to hurt anything, so we're going for it. The rig's, the rig's bolted on this platform. What's the worst that can happen? We're going. Oh, my gosh. All right, the vibrations are a little excessive. Maybe I should have turned those down. Oh. It shut off. Oh, it's back. Oh, <laughs> look. <laughs> Hang on, stop, stop. Force quit, force quit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my. I'm looking underneath. Cause I, feel like, I feel like I'm walking away on this thing, but it's not. It's staying in place really well, but it's just crazy. Okay. Okay, no, no thanks, no thanks. Let's go back. That's too much. We'll just reload. Will it fix everything? I'll f I gotta figure out how to fix that. But that was that was as much as we could get. I think we turn. I think we turned this baby up so far that we literally maxed out. We have officially found the true maximum capabilities of D box technology. That was insane. I guess the next thing to do is to try that at a road course or something. I think Long Beach without rough it is is probably the next best place. But th th this is these are just such dramatic movements and everything in these vehicles so i'm curious what it feels like there so hang around for part two why don't you let me know what you thought about this video thank you all for watching so much that was that was really only a lap and then we made it off pit road and that was it was too much to handle my i'm like tingling from how much vibration and everything there was that was an incredible experience i with wish all of you could come here and try this right now but uh we'll we'll try this again in some other disciplines of racing and see how it stacks up but let me know if you do want to see that in the comments below and leave a like if you thought that was as crazy as it was because that was definitely not what i expected but thank you all for watching i appreciate support as always and i'll talk to you all later bye